Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive with your top tip. And today I wanted to talk to you about when you're working with a Microsoft form, why you may want to restrict the responses that are coming for your form from a specific email domain. Now, this is where you may want only people inside your organization to respond, but there is a risk that when your company or the people that you send this link to are talking with others and in Teams chats and in emails, the information may get shared accidentally or with the best of intentions, because both of those are very real reasons that information gets shared. So what we want to do is make it so that we can restrict that access so that it can prevent those unauthorized responses coming in, which are going to dilute or change the way your data comes through. But it's also if you're asking for people to share or you are providing information in your form to help people provide responses that may include sensitive information, we can keep that secure as well. So the way we do that is that we head up to our settings, the little cog here, and we've got the option here about who can fill in this form. Now, if you have a file upload section, this option, this anyone can respond won't be there. But the one we're looking for here is only people inside my organization can respond. So for me, my organization is called Marianne Tansley, but yours might be called your business name. It might be your name. It depends on what your account is in. You can choose here to make it so that it's one response per person as well, or you can record the name. And then here we can also choose, you can make, you can drill it right down to specific people. And that will be people that you actually choose individually or as a group or a team. But these two options mean that only people inside your organization can respond. Great way to restrict access and keep things secure.